Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. Finally, this is the last video of lesson 10 song. We're going to play Lean on Me, which we're going to use the chord and from the side reading we learned going C from going down and C from going up to D using this technique on right hand and left hand using the chord. We're going to play the song. Now let's see how it goes. First, let's try just only right hand. Start with middle C, right hand, and four count, one, two, three, four. I will just count a little fast. And then C again, and it's quarter note. C, step up, bump, bump, so all the way from C to F going up. And then do you see a little line connected to the next note? Now, this is new things. We call it tied. Tied means whenever you see the same note connecting with the lines, that means you're not gonna play the next note, but you will keep holding the note. So the first note is one count, plus the next note is four count, then it's going to be five count. One plus four is five, so you have to hold it for five instead of playing one, one, two, three, four. See it? So how it goes, I will go from the second measure, beginning of the second measure, C, D, E here. One, two, three, four, five. You will hold it for five, hold full value. That's the tide. And the next measure is the same F and quarter note. F, step down, down, C again here, tide. One, one, two, three, four. You can count that way. Mostly we count that, just going by measure. Or you can count one, two, three, four, five. Why? Because one plus four is five. So you can count whole entire note value, or you can count one, one, two, three, four, just starting new measure. It really doesn't matter, but because anyway, that's all five count. Then next measure will be start with the C again and step up D. E to count and next line same E but do you see a little dot next to the note yes dotted half note which is three count so one two three and then next to note is D again tied note so how many this time one plus the next note is a two so it will be one one, two, and rest. One, two. So let's do up to here because the next note is the same as previous one. So let's go one more time from very beginning to up to here. One, two, three, go. C, two, three, four. C, step up, bump. bump. One, one, two, three, four. And same note, F, step down, down here, tie again, one, one, two, three, four. And then C, step up, up, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, rest, two. Yes, that's the first phrase we call. First phrase means first melody lines where it goes. Now, the next one, the same thing. One, two, three, four count, and C again, step up, 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 and tie. One, two, three, four, and same note. F, E, D, C. One, two, three, four, and skip ball. Because it's a line to line. E. E. Step down. Down. Two. Now, this is the note that we have just learned it today. What is it? Step down. So it's going to be C to B, but it's crossed it over like this. 
over two three come back to C one two three four because it's a tied this note there are so many times so you have to circle and remember to count to five or either you can count one one two three four one one two three four or one two three four five it really doesn't matter but you have to count all notes now let's move it on to the left hand c chord which we have just played on technique part the same chord c four count after that let's just briefly see the notes c again and step up same note step down 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 and that's tied too so it's both right hand and left hand will play at the same time and hold it at the same time now let's play it both hand together i guess it's easier to play it both hand together now fine hand position right hand middle c left hand c chord one two three Go one, two, three, four, and play it again. C, step up, up, up. One, two, three, four, and drop at the same time again. The same note and step down this time. Down, down to C. One, two, three, four. The next note. Right hand is a C, left hand is same as middle note. Do you see it? You have five, three notes, C, E, G, but the next note is the same as the middle note. So it will be C, E, step up, up, and same note, one, two, three, and step down both hand, one, one, two one two rest got it so most confusing part is the very last measure of the first line what it is it from ending c and c chord and the note find it c and e and both hand going up so practice only that measure a heart. Most of, I, I cannot say most of, but so far what I have experienced, 50% of the students having trouble playing this part rather than this one. But it really depends on people, you know. Some people are, this is hard to play it. Some people feel this is easy. As long as the direction is the same, it's easy. But this one, even if the direction is the same, finger number is different. Do you see it? Three, one, two, three. So it feels a little bit awkward. But both, some people feel both fine. <laughs> so think about it. Which one is confusing for you? Then take it out the part and practice the part. Now let's move it on to the next phrase, which is starting from measure nine. The same. One, one, two, three, four. And drop it the same time again. And step up, up, up. One, two, three, four. And drop at the same time again, the same note, and step down. Here is another note, problem notes now. C from skip up, so it's gonna be E and left hand as which note is the same as? Tom note, so which one? Tom note, this note, right? So from the chord, the tom note is the same. So G, step down, down, and uh -huh. this is a little bit confusing. Left hand just stepping down, but right hand cross it over and go to the B. So one, two, three, and come back again. One, one, two, three, four. 
four. This is the most confusing part, actually, of all the song. Now, if you're looking at the very last measure, right hand is tied, right, from the previous quarter note to the whole note, actually. Now, the left hand is from E, right after that, you have to play a C chord. So that one, you have to remember, there is no tie. So when right hand is keep holding, one, one, you have to drop your left hand again and play it, chords. So let's just go over very last line. Left hand, start on F chord, and right hand, F. One, two, ready, play. The next note, right hand E, left hand is the same as top note, G. So E and both the step down, down, two. And right hand cross it over, left hand step down. One, two, three, and right hand come back to C again. One, and left hand play it. One, two, three, four. Now let's try it a little fast. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same note. One, one, two, three, four. both one one two tied two one two three four count and then play it again step up 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 tied two three four the same note one step down 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 tied two three four both skip up right hand and left hand G, step down, down, right hand cross it, under, one, two, three, one, left hand, one, two, three, four. This song is really, really confusing and challenging. So practice a lot. How was the lesson? It's kind of hard, definitely. This is the hardest one. So far you have learned. We have chords moving up and down and right hand crossing down and left hand crossing up. And also, what else do you have? Tied note, which is you have to keep holding and keep counting. So you have to keep practice until you get comfortable. And since our first session is done, I will give you a two weeks break. Of course, I will take a two weeks break too. But I'm, what I'm taking two weeks break, I will preparing for the next session. And from next session, we're going to play more songs with this chorus. And I will explain it. What is the minor? What is the major? What's the difference? And how to play it well with the chorus. So we will play maybe at the end of the next session. Yesterday, we will learn. Since you have a two weeks break, you can go back to the lesson you want to review again, or you can take a little bit break, but never stop practice. At least every day for 10 minutes, practice the song that you want to practice. You must have some song that you like, right? So practice a couple of times and keep moving your fingers so that your finger will not be stiff. If you don't practice, then your fingers need another time to warm up. So don't just stop practicing. And I will see you two weeks later. Thank you. Bye.